Hello, everybody. I'm just sitting here watching the deer, hoping that I'm going to see White Belly walk up any minute, but I still haven't seen her. It's been nine days. I'm still hoping that there's a logical explanation and she'll be back. But that's her son, Mr. Buck, and his girlfriend. Mr. Buck has made himself a little girlfriend. She's feisty. But they're always together now. But Mr. Buck used to always come up here with White Belly, his mama. And now he's coming up with his girlfriend. So that's her. And they're loving the, the block. They are just loving it. They've already eaten all the way around the edge of the top. They're loving it. So anyways, I've been watching uh, some videos and I seen where somebody said that it was come into question that it could possibly be that a wild animal may have come and got Summer and carried her off. I don't know where that came from, but I don't think it's true. It could be true. I mean, it could be. But I just don't really think that that was what happened. There's, there was no evidence of that happening. And we talked about that in my live stream yesterday. It came up. Uh, I also saw a video where some people were leaving the Ben Hill Road property, 110 Ben Hill. Two vehicles left from up there yesterday, I think it was, and one of them had a canoe on top. I know the Wells did have a canoe behind their house. It was standing up, and then somebody laid it down, but it looks like maybe, I'm thinking that maybe somebody has come up there and maybe gotten some more stuff like moving out or maybe they sold some stuff maybe they sold the canoe and somebody went up there and got it that bought it I don't know but that was just something else that I saw and I looked at the terrain in June, which is June is when she went missing, and here it is June again, almost June the 15th, a couple days. And you can see what, what the land and the foliage looked like in June, last June. And it's so thick, it is so thick, those woods. It would be hard for anybody and probably any animals to navigate even through those thick woods, I would think. Because these woods right here behind my house, there's no trails, there's no roads in there. Just a big thick forest. And... White Belly has come up missing. It's my favorite deer, and she was pregnant. And I'm concerned about her babies. And I have tried to go into those woods back there to see if I could hear the babies or find the babies, just in case something might have happened to White Belly, either during or after birth, giving birth. I don't know. But as I tried to navigate through the woods back there, there's no way. There, it's so steep in areas. The 
woods are very thick. You can't go in a straight line. You have to move around and it would be very easy to get lost. There are hundreds of acres back there. And I don't want to put myself in too much danger. There's copperheads out on the mountain. And I know that there's tons of them in those woods. I just know it. And I am scared to death of them. Not, they're not just on the ground. They're in the trees. They're just, they can be anywhere. And it's terrifying to me that to step on a snake, a poisonous snake, or one bite me from a tree or drop down on me out of a tree. I'm terrified of them. But I tried anyway for White Billy and for her babies. I tried. And it's hard. You can't navigate back there. There's too many thick woods. And it's just too thick and it's too steep. In a lot, most areas back there, it's just too steep. To, and there's no way, no support to help you climb up. And it would be very easy to get lost. And you really, all you hear back there is like a, a bunch of uh, birds. And you don't really hear any wild game back there. I didn't hear anything that sounded even like a, an animal, just mostly birds. But anyways, it just gives me an, a real good idea of how thick those woods are around Summer's house in June. If I can't navigate back there to go look for some deer, I mean, I didn't make it no ways. I tried. I was back here for a good 30 minutes or more, and I didn't make it hardly anywhere in that length of time because it's so hard to navigate. I just, I don't believe that she wandered off in the woods and I don't believe a wild animal carried her off into there without leaving shreds of her clothes, fabric on some of those. Because I got hung up on branches. My shirt got hung on branches. Um... I left skid marks from where I was trying to climb and then skidding coming down. I left skid marks on, with, on the ground for my boots and footprints. And, I mean, I was noticing the evidence that I had been there, even though I tried my best to go through there and not leave any evidence just to see if I could, and I couldn't. And I almost got lost. It would be very, very, very easy to get lost in there. It's very easy to get turned around. And I got turned around just for a few seconds, but it just shows how easy it is to get turned around. And I, like I said, 30 minutes, I didn't make it far. And I wasn't too far from my house when I got turned around. And for a few seconds, didn't know which way to go. It would be possible to get lost very quickly. But I think that if a child had went, roamed off into woods like that and barefooted, and I, I just don't think she would have made it far. And I think there would have been a lot more evidence that she had been in there. Footprints, um, pieces of fabric on the trees from getting hung up on the tree limbs, uh, skid marks from slipping and sliding up and down hills in the woods. I'm sorry I'm losing focus every now and then because I'm looking out at the woods and I'm trying to focus on the, the wildlife out there for y'all as I sit here and talk. I know I'm up early but uh, I got up, looked out the window, and I saw some deer out here, and 
I got excited and I thought maybe White Belly was here and I come down here and nope, no White Belly today. So all of my prayer warriors out there, please remember White Belly in your prayers. I know some of y'all might think it sounds silly, but I do get attached to the wildlife just as easy as you can get attached to a dog or a cat. She's been around for a long time, and I have always worried about her because she walked with a limp, and I felt like she was an easy target for hunters because of her being slower because of her limp. But anyways, I wish I could just like hire a search crew to go out there and search for her and the babies. But it's hundreds of acres. I mean, where would they begin? And then that brings me back to that search that's just happened again with Summer's case. Uh, some people were down there doing another search. I haven't heard yet if they've found any kind of evidence. And I'm still unsure of why they're focusing on that general area. I wonder if they have found any evidence in the past that would suggest that that would be a, a place of interest. I feel like something has given them a reason to feel like that's a place of interest. Because they've been down there in that area more than once. Maybe more than twice. And been sitting here wishing I could be at the vigil. Been thinking about that. It's a very, uh, it's going to be a very sad day for a lot of people. The YouTube creators, they love Summer so much and they have invested so much into Summer. Not just time and editing and content and all that, but emotionally. They are emotionally invested. They've invested a lot of emotions, a lot of stress, a lot of hard work, a lot of worrying, a lot of thinking. The thoughts will just take over and consume you just trying to figure out what has happened to this baby. Where, where could she be? There, it's sad. It's really sad that this whole situation is sad. And it's, it's sad for the content creators, YouTube creators, that have been covering Summer's case. It's going to be such a hard day for all of them. And a big part of me wants to be there at the vigil for the creators. Just for moral support, show them some love and support for what they have done for Summer, for a year. For not giving up on Summer. I think the world of each and every one of them out there that's covering Summer's case and has been this whole time, bless their hearts. And for them to show up in Tennessee on the 15th, nobody should doubt that they genuinely care about Summer. If I could, I would be there. And I wish I could be there. But it's just not possible right now for me to be there. But I'm going to be doing my own little vigil here at home. I'll be doing my own live stream my own little vigil for summer and so if anybody wants to tune in and, and check that out 
it'll probably be ongoing for uh, throughout the day since most of the creators will be doing theirs around 6. But they're going to be going live all throughout the day. I'll be watching them too. I'll be watching them too. So my live will probably be an hour to two hours long, I expect. And I want to uh, be watching their lives too because they're going to be there together. That's going to be awesome to see these creators come together in one place for one cause for our baby girl, Summer Wells. Where is our baby girl? I wish so bad that somebody would come forward and say something. Even if they did it anonymously I'm watching that deer because it, I was trying to see if it was walking with a limp. I don't think it was, but it had a white belly. If hubby was here, he could have, he could have told you <laughs> first glance if it was her or not. Uh, you have to really look at them. She had a bigger head too. She has a bigger head and a lot more white on her belly. And she walks with a very obvious limp. And she's really big. She's a big doe. She's tall and broad for a doe. Anyways, for me to be sitting here worried and been worried for days about a deer, not minimizing the deer's value at all in life wise but I can't imagine what if, what would I be doing if that was my child I wouldn't be caring about no snakes you know what would happen I'd be lost I'd be lost out there in that thick forest that's what would happen because I would be done went all the way through those hundred acres I would be inching my way through those hundreds of acres back there of thick forest if it was a child, I wouldn't be worried about the snakes. But when, uh, with wildlife, you got to give them time. They could be, they could roam for who knows how many miles. And she could have had her babies way back there, and she just don't want to come this far from her babies. And that's what I'm hoping. It's something like that. White Bill is pretty tough. You could tell she's been through a lot, but she's tough and happy. She's always been so happy. Even though she looked like she's been through it, she's always happy. Y'all probably think I'm crazy sitting here talking about a, a deer, <laughs> but I love them. I do. Look at them squirrels out there living their best life, enjoying those berry, wild berry blocks. Those wild berry blocks, that they smell so good. They smell just like real strong smell of wild berries. I mean, it's real strong. You can walk out on one of my decks and you can smell wild berries coming from that block. The squirrels love it, and, well, really, all the wildlife does. I've even seen birds eating from it. Wildlife really do love those. They're enjoying them. So, I don't really have a, a whole lot more right now. That's all I have. Uh, I am still doing some researching, trying to get 
more caught up on what's going on. Uh, yesterday, I did a live stream, and I wasn't even aware that there was a search going on. I don't even know how I missed that. I know I've spent a lot of time off of you. Not a lot of time. A lot of time for me by going to town and one day and being so busy over the weekend. Uh, it has slowed me down from uh, tuning in and seeing what's going on for the last few days. So now I'm playing catch up, trying to get caught up on everything going on out there. And I saw where I don't I don't really know him very well, but I did see a video where Jonathan Lee Rich Riches is in the area of Ben Hill and he was showing that area, the foliage and uh just give it a good look around uh, the area. There were some signs up. Bring summer home. I was very happy to see that. There was a sign at the very end of their road, and then signs in the, on sign. Uh, yeah, signs on signs <laughs> in at the other at ends of other roads in the areas. Like wear summer, find summer, bring summer home, something like that. I was very happy to see that, that people in the area are still uh, not giving up and wanting summer home. I think that's a beautiful thing. I don't know who put the signs up down there, but I know when I made my trip through there the end of October and did my video, I think I might have saw one little faded sign. That was it. And I was sad about that. But now, it's coming up on one year. And the community is, uh, from what Jonathan Lee Riches says, the community is more forthcoming with information than they were a year ago. And he's going to be putting out more content where he has talked to some of those neighbors. Some of them he has talked to before. And now he has talked to them again. And they were more forthcoming. And I can't wait to hear what they had to say. So I wanted to mention that to y'all so y'all could have a chance to see what the neighbors are saying now to Jonathan Lee Richards. Um, I expect that a lot of the creators are probably already headed that way. I hope that they everybody has safe travels. Um, a lot of them are coming from far and wide. They're coming from all kinds of states and I think it's a beautiful thing that they're coming so far and they're meeting up together all in one location and in honor of our baby girl we've worked so hard for this little girl and we love her so much I never thought that I could ever fall it just love a child so much that I've never met. I do. I have a heart full of love for that baby. For her short time that she got to live her life with her family, with her brothers. I wonder how the boys are feeling right now, knowing that it's been one year. If they've even, if they even know, that if anybody's mentioned it, or I'm sure they know. She's been missing a year. It's sad, 
Those boys have got to be hurting for their sister. Because I know they love their sister. I hope that if either one of them know anything, I hope that knowing that it's been a year, I hope one of them will tell whatever they do know, if they do know anything, if they know anything that they haven't already told. I hope that this one year will spark somebody to come forward. It's been a year, y'all. It's been a year. Somebody, somebody has to come forward for this baby. Who is it going to be? I know that somebody has heard by now, even if he wasn't involved, I know they've heard in that neighborhood. Somebody has heard the truth about what's happened to Summer. Somebody knows. I just wish they would come forward because it's the right thing to do. And to help find Summer and bring closure to this case and find justice for Summer and the boys. And to me, it's all about justice and finding Summer. Some people say, you know, that it's not, the justice is really not that important now as now it's more about finding Summer that's important. Both, to me, both are just as important, finding Summer and justice for Summer and justice for her brothers. I want all of that. I want to see it all. I want to see justice, and I want to find Summer. I'm thinking about a lot of times when we get ready to plan our vacation, a lot of times he'll ask me where would I like to go. I'm thinking my next vacation I think I'm going to go to Tennessee and I'm going to look around. It can't hurt. I'm not going to trespass on anybody's property or anything, but there's some places that I want to check out too. There's some places that I would love to check out. Like that ditch line going down uh down Ben Hill Road that runs along beside the Wells property, that ditch. I watched on a video, I watched one of the Wells dogs on a video pick up, go into that ditch and picked up one of Summer's shoes out of the ditch and ran up the driveway and took it home. And it, it just touched my heart. It's almost like that dog knew that that shoe was there before. And he knew where that shoe belonged. He found that shoe laying in the ditch and he took that, he ran up that driveway with that shoe in his mouth. He knew that shoe was Summer's and he knew that that shoe belonged up on that hill and so did Summer. And when Don was walking down there, I think it was Don in the video. Yep, sure it was. It was in a video with somebody down there. And the dog, nobody was paying attention to the dog when he just walked over into the ditch and picked up Summer's shoe. Like, right here, right here. I mean, I want to go look where that dog was, where that dog picked up that shoe. It makes me wonder if, if it's possible 
that Summer could have been hit by a vehicle and knocked over into that ditch and knocked her shoe off in that ditch. And then maybe there was this massive cover-up of the accident for whatever reason, I don't know. But that dog going straight to that shoe, that dog knew that shoe was there. And it's almost, it suggests that he may know more. That dog may know more. He knew that shoe was there of Summer's. He may have known that Summer was laying in that ditch at one point a year ago. That poor dog, he went and got what was left in that ditch of Summer and brought it home. I watched him do it. I want to go search that ditch with a fine tooth comb for any evidence that Summer might have been in that ditch. All because of that dog finding that shoe. And if you want to see that video of the dog going and getting that shoe and taking it up the driveway, I saw that on Mystery Angels. I can't tell you what date it was, but I remember watching that video on Mystery Angels channel with Chip. And it was a really good video. I recommend that you go check that out and watch that dog. Pay very close attention to the dog. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being here today. And thank you for the ones who joined in on our live stream yesterday. I enjoyed it. I had fun just hanging out with y'all. And um, I might be back on later if I get a whole bunch of wildlife out here at one time. I will be keeping an eye out for White Belly. And you better bet if she comes walking up, I'm going to put get a video and I'm going to be post I'm going to be posting it because I want to let all y'all know that she's okay if she does come. See that pretty blue jay. And there might be too that that window feeder might get really active today. It's got a combination of two different kinds of, well, it's got several different kinds of bird seed in it, but out of two separate bags, I mean, two different bags of different types of bird seed, like some's for finch, some's for, these, the feed in the, the seed in the window feeder is more for like the finch and the, the smaller birds, but the doves get in there and they hang out and they just they eat a lot the doves are pretty big and I guess that's why but um I have another bird bell that I'm going to put out today and I'm going to put it out on my back deck where I sit and hang out with my plants a lot of times and I'm going to catch the birds attacking it and I'm going to film that for my bird lovers and uh, of course if I get a, a bunch of deer a big herd of deer I will be filming that for y'all and I'll try to sit and talk with you as, as I do that so I hope everybody's having a good day. Starting out on a Monday. 
I know how my days can be, and when I go back to work, <laughs> I'm going to be dreading those Mondays. I know what it's like. Mondays are hard days, and they're dreadful days. I used to dread, dread, dread. I'm out on medical leave. But when it's over, when, when it's time to go back, and I will be going back, when it's time to go back, I'm going to be missing all of this, spending my days with the wildlife. I'm enjoying it while I can. I have worked all my life, raised my kids, worked the whole time I was raising my kids off work, and I deserve a break. I've never had this kind of a break from work. I've never had more than a couple of days of sick days at a time ever off of work in as far back as I can remember. So I'm mean, in a way I'm enjoying a lot in a lot of ways I'm enjoying being out on medical leave. I'm enjoying it. I am making the best of it and doing everything I can to make my healing process go by even quicker and heal faster because of having all the time, this extra time to do it, to just relax and enjoy the nature and the wildlife. This is such a blessing, even though the medical conditions are very disturbing at times, very difficult. I'm still enjoying my time off and I'm going to enjoy every day that I am off spending time outside with the critters or in the sunroom just watching the critters or sitting on the deck watching the hummingbirds and other birds. I'm enjoying it and I like sharing it all with y'all. I hope you're enjoying it. There's a beautiful, some beautiful blue jays out there right now. They are really pretty, but they're also really aggressive to other birds, like the smaller birds. They will chase off the smaller birds from the feeders. That's why I say they're a little aggressive. But the blue jays are over there eating some of the berry block along with the squirrels. <laughs> and the blue jays are flying in. Usually when they start flying in, I get a whole bunch of them out here, but they don't really stay around very long. So anyways, I'm going to go, and I will be watching for white belly, and I'll be watching for big herds of wildlife out there, and in if a big herd shows up, I will film it and bring it to you. And we have, well, we had one bird was just now in the window feeder, but it's flown out now. I guess I scared it off. But I hope you enjoyed what little bit of wildlife we have had out there today, this morning. <laughs> it's still early. So a lot of them may be just waking up. I don't know. I have a feeling we're going to have a lot of birds today. Looky there. <laughs> just barely missed it again. I usually use a tripod, and I'm sorry that my I don't have a, a steady hand. 
for fielding. I thought I would catch that bird coming back into the feeder. But I don't know where he went. So anyways, I'll be back. Hopefully I'll be back later to show y'all some more wildlife and to talk about any more information that I might learn on, about Summer Today or her case. Um, if I find out anything, I'll be coming on here and showing you the wildlife and talking about whatever I've discovered. So everybody, try to enjoy your Monday as best as you can. I know how they are. And I'll see you soon.